all too often we hear stories of young people getting in trouble, as bows, hoodies, vandalism. But tonight, the unsung heroes of Cambridgeshire, the ones who care for others beyond the call of duty, will be recognised in a very special award ceremony. Anna Todd has been to meet two of the finalists. Stephen Langridge is an extraordinary teenager. Ten years ago, when he was just six, his mum Jenny had a massive brain hemorrhage and a stroke. She was left totally incapacitated. Stephen from Cambridgeshire has devoted his young years to caring for her, in the early days feeding Jenny and helping her talk. Now he cooks and cleans in between studying for exams. I've basically <laughs> lost most of my social side of things, like going out with my friends, and bowling and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. But I don't mind because it all goes towards helping my mum recover and so she can get better. Across the county, another story of devotion unfolds. 11-year-old Claudia Miller helps care for her grandfather, Ray, who suffered terrible head injuries when he fell out of a tree. He was in a coma for six days, in hospital for six weeks. He describes Claudia as his guardian angel, one who has helped him regain normality. She's patient. She doesn't worry me. Like some people do, oh, stupid person. She lets me get on with it, you know, make the mistakes, and she's quite happy about it. Both Claudia and Stephen have been nominated for a very special award, an accolade that recognises the good young people do. It was set up by a former journalist who was fed up with the bad press. Most adults out there think every young person is bad, that everyone is an antisocial, nasty piece of work. And I felt, no, that's so untrue. It is only an antisocial minority. Let's get the great kids back on the agenda. Stephen has spent his pocket money on a new suit for the awards ceremony tonight, but winning isn't important. It's the fact his mum will be there with him. Anna Todd, BBC Look East, Cambridge.